All right, good morning traders. Today is December 7th, 2023. My morning spy pivot, 456.24. Above it, I'm a bull, below it, I'm a bear. Fab Five, that's FNGU, SPY, QQQ, IWM, and DIA. They're all still in their daily uptrends, all right? They all have made higher highs on their daily charts. USO and UNG continue their daily downtrends. Will this will there will they ever find a bottom? Jeez, it's getting kind of scary. SLV and GLD remain in bullish uptrends, although pulling back and giving us a buy setup for the last three days. Nice pullback. US dollar index made a spike up to 104.20 yesterday, currently consolidating over the flat 200 SMA on the daily chart. SPY, QQQ, and FNGU made small red Marabuzu candles. So I'm looking for follow through today. Yesterday marks the second time we made a lower high since we made the high we made on the first of the month. Usually the second time is a charm. So should SPY close? 30 minute candles, hourly candles below 454.30 or 453.60. I don't see much to stop the spy from visiting the midpoint of this uh, holiday rally. On that note, I will most likely go very heavy on some 8 DTE or some 15 DTE, maybe even both. Just saying. Probably going to pick the 458 strike or the 460 strike. Now, for those of you that don't want to play the SPY, you can think about trading the UVXY. If, this, if candles start to uh, materialize underneath those two points. So, there's, there's some options there in case you can't play puts and calls. So, let's go take a look at some charts. First chart, right now, here's yesterday's candle, all right? So you can see we made a higher high, and we made a lower low. So increasing volatility there compared to the day before. On the daily chart, we have a high and now a higher high. So that puts us in a daily uptrend. As you can see, we've been consolidating since about the 15th right along this weekly downtrend line right there. Now, yesterday we closed underneath the weekly downtrend line. We were consolidating above it, and now we closed underneath it. So something to make a note of, that's probably the biggest red candle we've seen in the last 30 days. All right, so, and it's up near the top. So we'll see what happens here, right? If they're gonna get any follow through. So there's SPY on the daily. Now, I was looking at some certain specific points of entry or what I'm looking for to happen. So 454.30 right there. You see the bottoms of these two tails? If I said if we start closing 30-minute candles below those, I don't see much below to stop us from melting down to the midpoint. Second point of entry, right below this, see this? See this tail there? Right below there, 453.30 or 20, right there. Below that, actually, right about there, 453.40 or something like that. Okay, so anywhere in these tails here, I don't see anything below to stop us from melting down any further down to the midpoint of this rally we had from here, 408, all the way up to, well, almost 460 right there. So we'll see what happens, all right? So there's the SPY. Let's go back. Let's take a look at some of the other indices. QQQ. So here's QQQ, putting in a red Marabuzu candle. Notice, a little bit different than SPY. It made a higher low. In a higher high, big ugly red candle, but it made price advancement move, right? It made a higher low and a higher high. 
So we'll see what happens. There's QQQ. Let's take a look. Oh, QQQ also in a daily uptrend. As you can see, here's the last high. Made a higher high, puts it in a daily uptrend. So there's QQQ. So let's take a look at FNGU. FNGU did the same thing. Made a little price advancement move by moving up. So there's a higher low and a higher high right there. Okay, so there's FNGU. Big ugly red candle, but a higher low and a higher high. Daily chart, here's the last high. Made a higher high, puts it in a daily uptrend. So there's FNGU. Now let's take a look at IWM. Here's IWM, making a higher low and a higher high. IWM in a daily uptrend. Now just consolidating right here at the 103.55 level. All right, so we had a breakout, and now we're coming up here to consolidate. All right, hopefully they can hold it up here for a while and then make another move up. Next, next one is DIA. Let's take a look at Diamond Dow. Here's Diamond Dow. Here's a breakout of the consolidation and currently consolidating over 360.27, basically about 360. Diamond Dow in an uptrend. Here's the hot. Here's the high. Made a higher high in a daily uptrend right now. Look at Diamond Dow. Climbs back into that daily uptrend line right there. That started back in October 2022. So Diamond Dow climbing back into the uptrend. Nice move for Di Di Diamond Dow. <laughs> Let's take a look at our transports. Here's our transports consolidating right here for the last three days over 250 all right here's that last high made a higher high puts it in an uptrend and you can see yesterday's price action a little higher high a little higher low nice price advancement closing over the three ema let's take a look at our financials here come the financials financials had a very nice move it's only a 16 uh, green candle run When's the last time we saw one of those? All right, 16 green candle run. Have to go back a long time to find one of those. All right, so here we are in a daily uptrend. Here's the last high. Here's the new high. Definitely in an uptrend here. All right, so making higher highs. For the candle for today, all right, we got a, like a bearish engulfing, increased volatility, makes a higher high and a lower low. So uh, just currently consolidating right here, maybe even a pullback to uh, this area here, 3505. We'll see what happens. There's XLF. Now let's take a look at USO. Here's our crude oil. All right, crude oil is ugly. All right. Here's a lower high, here's lower low, there's a lower high, and there's a lower low right there. So definitely in a downtrend right here. All right, so here's USO, actually probably hitting the bottom side of this channel right here. They might get a bounce today. See that? See how we pin it here, pin it here. It's the third time. Probably get a nice bounce today. A little bounce. We'll see what happens. But anyways, there's USO. And what do we got in USO for yesterday's price action? Gaps down and trades lower and finishes at the low at the end of the day. Not, not a very good sign for USO. But here's the Marabuzu candle. And these are what I'm talking about. If you want to see an example of one, look at this. It's the biggest red candle since you've seen for the last... I don't know, two months there? You see a bigger candle than that? That one could be bigger if we fill it in. But that's a big candle, biggest one we've seen in about a month. All right? And you can see you get the follow through right here. This is what I'm looking for today in the markets, all right? I'm not looking for it in this one, but I'm looking for it in the markets. All right? So we'll see what happens if we get some follow through. So there's USO. Let's take a look at UNG. Oh my goodness, UNG doing the same thing. Now this may be the end. Uh, it's gapping lower, so we could see 
a bottom in this soon because the candles are getting bigger. So UNG is kind of showing signs of um, bottoming out here. We'll see what happens. But this is down to 496 here early in the morning. But definitely in a downtrend. Why? You got lower highs and lower lows. This is just running on the 3 EMA. When you see a big candle like this, um, usually it's pretty much telling you the end is near. Most of the time. Most of the time. All right. So we'll see what happens. But you can see yesterday's price action uh, pretty much just picks up where it left off the previous day. And just trades even lower. So we'll see what happens there with UNG. Silver and gold giving us the pullback. All right. So here's silver and gold. Silver's in an uptrend. Here's a higher low. There's a higher high. Yesterday's price action, lower high, lower low. Pull back to the trend indicator. So this is a nice little buy setup on minor support. We'll see where it stops. Look for the turnaround to happen. That 10 minute uh, cross, okay, on the 10 minute chart. Look for that 10 minute cross for silver to move to the upside. We'll see what happens. GLD. About the same thing happening there, okay? We'll pull back. Uh, a little bit stronger than silver. You can see made a higher high and a higher low. Uh, consolidating over the trend indicator. But nonetheless, this is a buy setup. A pull back to the trend indicator. And then back up towards the highs here. So gold putting in a buy setup. Silver starting the buy setup. All right. Not quite. Hasn't quite turned the corner. Gold has already turned the corner there. But we'll see how high it's going to get. All right. So there's gold in a daily uptrend. Here's the low. Here's the high. Higher low, higher high. So there's the previous low. So gold's in an uptrend. So let's take a look at our U.S. dollar index and where we are right now. Okay, so here is this blue line. Snap that out. Pull up a couple more things here. Just a second. Because... I want to get the NASDAQ earnings and I want to get the earnings count, the uh, data calendar. All right, so back here. All right, so you can see here's the price action on the daily chart. I'll zoom out. There's the July low. All right, right here. This is the September high right up there or the October high. And then we consolidated. Then we faded back to the 200. It's a flat 200. And you can see we had the rubber band effect pull us right back up over the 200. And we went up as high as uh, 104.20 yesterday. And now we're just consolidating over the flat 200. So dollar, we want, we want a weaker dollar because it makes our goods and services cheaper. And when they're cheaper, we, we have less comp. Well, it makes us more competitive in the global markets. So we tend to bring in more revenue for U.S. companies. More revenue for U.S. companies increases GDP and produces, uh, it's good for the United States. So we'll see what happens. That's like bringing more money home. And we're taking a look at the economic calendar. For today, we've got jobless claims at 8.30, natural gas report at 10.30. All right, we do have a webinar today uh, starting at 10. Entries, stops, and targets or target horizons. Okay, that starts at 10 o'clock in the combo room, and it's for members only. And that's the, uh, that's the bonus of being a member. You get to visit and uh, join us in these webinars. You're going to get three presentations. You're going to get one from Rick in HRC, you're going to get one from Doug in RWO, and you're going to get one from me in BYOB. All right, so if you're, if you are a full-time member, not a trial member, a full-time member, you get to join us in that uh, education room, the combo room. All right, so just letting you know ahead of time, you can plan your day, 10 o'clock, that's what we're looking at. 
So, already went through the economic calendar for tomorrow, 8.30, more employment situation stuff, consumer sentiment at 10. Four, NASDAQ earnings, what do we have? AVGO reports tonight, that's going to be a big one, $376 billion. Lulu Oman, Athletic Wear, $55 billion. They're going to report this evening as well. Dollar General reports this morning, $29 billion. That's about it right there for tomorrow. Let's see what we got for tomorrow. Uh, no notables tomorrow. Everything's kind of small cap, mid cap. That's it right there, traders. Uh, everybody out there in Rumble, YouTube land, Facebook. I got a new Facebook account. Um, we'll see you all at 4 p.m. today uh, for the members, the full-time members. We'll see you in the combo room at 10 all the way up until... Two, I'll be presenting at one. And for the people in the room that made it in today, I'll take questions. Until then, I'll see everybody else at 10, 1, or 4 later today.